In this video, we demonstrate how to produce a binary counting sequence of general length. In previous videos, we designed a 2-bit up counter. The 2-bit counter is a modulo 4 counter. A modulo 4 counter has four distinct counts. As unsigned integers, these are interpreted as numbers from 0 to 3. This design can be extended to multiple bits. The 3-bit counter is modulo 8, counting as it does from 0 to 7. In general, an n-bit counter, designed using n flip-flops, is modulo 2 raised to the power of n. That is, it counts from 0 to 2n minus 1. We will now design a counter that has a modulo value that is not a power of 2. In our example, we will construct a modulo 6 0 to 5 counter. We will construct our modulo 6 counter from a 3-bit modulo 8 counter, which is the next highest power of 2. This counter will count up the 3-bit counting sequence as before. We will obtain a modulo 6 counter by forcing an auto preset from the appropriate state. As for the manual preset, this auto preset will be obtained using the asynchronous reset of each flip-flop. Our 0 to 5 counter must first clock its way from 0 through the various states to 5. On reaching the 5 state, it must then clock into the 6 state and then immediately auto preset into the zero state. This shortened counter sequence is called a truncated sequence. Note that there will be a glitch during this truncation process. The transient 110 state will last for the propagation delay of the asynchronous reset function. There are two steps to the modified design. First, we must detect the 110 state that triggers the immediate auto preset. This signal is obtained from an AND gate, which detects the correct combination of Q and Q bar outputs from the flip flops. In our example, the auto preset is triggered by the 110 state. Remember that for a flip-flop counter, the bits are always read from the most significant bit on the right to the least significant bit on the left. For the second step, the auto preset must be passed along with the manual preset to the asynchronous inputs of the flip-flops. This is implemented using an OR gate that will force a reset of each of the flip-flops at either a manual preset or at the auto preset. This therefore is our truncated 0 to 5 counter.